Hi, I'm Joe Vaccarelli, and today we're going to learn about draping on a body form. We're going to be discussing a little bit of the features of the body form and why are these features more significant when we start to drape today. So if we turn and we look at the body form, you're going to see we have a full body form and a half body form and why we'd use one over the other and what are the different areas that we have used these different colorful tapes. Yes, it's not Christmas, but it is actually draping tape or a style tape. And we're going to talk about why we followed these different uh, uh, different tapes all the way down the body form, and those are called princess seams. Princess seams are going to be very unique when we're draping today because these princess seams are how we're going to manipulate and make a dart on your uh, muslin. So what we've done is we've literally taken the different draping tapes, which come in different colors. Isn't this fabulous? They come in red, yellow, blue, and green. They are just really, really great. So what we do is um, we take the draping tape and these forms have seams in them. And these are different seams that we're gonna use when we're draping. And simply what we do is we take the draping tape and we apply it to those seams on the form. And that gives us a area that we know when we're draping how it's going to react with the uh, muslin that we're gonna be using. So we've def definitely done the fronts of the backs and we've also done the back of the form, okay? And if you notice, we've also done on the forms, we've done around the arm. And what we've done is we've followed the, uh, the arm caps on the form to give a perfect armhole when we're draping. And then when we're done, of course, we have the arm cap there. So that illustrates uh, how when we're draping with the muslin to get that perfect armhole for your drape with the muslin, okay? So we're gonna begin today draping, and we're gonna discuss, when we're draping, we're gonna discuss uh, the different types of muslin, and we're gonna be working with a size 10 form today, okay? And to work with a size 10 form, we're gonna get a piece of muslin, as I have right here, and this happens to be a 20 by 24 piece of muslin. And this would be good up from a size two, clear up through a size 12 when we're making a drape for a bodice, okay? So here's the muslin that we do. And if you notice on this muslin that we have, we have a line going through it. So simply what I did is I folded that length of that 24 and a half, folded it in half, we drew a black marker through it, and we have the muslin folded in half. That's called plumb line. And we're gonna show you the significance of the plumb line on the drape today when we're working with it, okay? So what I've done is fast forward is we're going to take that muslin there and we're going to get a piece of muslin that I've prefabricated. And remember we talked about that plumb line? This tape here is plumb. That plumb line is going to go parallel to that draping tape and we're going to want to get that tape right up against the edge of that center seam and we'll pin right into it with a nice pin, and we're gonna anchor it. Something that you're gonna learn when you're draping is that you don't want to pull on the muslin. That is a no-no. We never pull on the muslin. We don't want the muslin to be pulled because it's gonna be like we're choking the muslin. We're, we're gonna actually control the muslin during this whole drape. So as you see, we have this plumb line that I've established and I'm actually looking through the plumb line and I'm seeing that red tape that I put parallel over the bust line all the way around to the side. And I'm gonna take a pin and we're gonna feel the side of the form if you look carefully, you'll see on the side of the form how it has a nice seam line right here. I'm actually feeling that seam line and I'm taking the uh, muslin and I'm applying it to that and I'm making sure we're plumb here and I'm feeling that and I haven't over pulled the muslin. So one thing again, we said we don't over pull the muslin and we don't want to over pin on the muslin. That's another key factor, never over pinning. So we have all this muslin surplus on top. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna anchor it to the top of the neck. I'll anchor it to the top of the neck. And then I'm gonna take this part of the muslin and I'm gonna push it up over the top. Okay, and I'm rolling it. So what I'm doing now is I'm rolling the muslin. I'm gonna remove the sleeve cap for now because I'm gonna remember that if you saw how I marked the sleeve hole, okay? So I'm removing the sleeve cap. 
I'm taking the muslin, taking it over the top. And basically what I'm doing is I'm rolling it and I'm watching for this princess seam on this side. And I'm gonna get the muslin rolled right to that edge and I'm going to anchor it. And that's there, okay? Then we follow right down the side. I'm feeling for that side seam. I'm feeling for that side seam. Okay, and take that, take another pin on that side seam. And so far we've got the top already established. Isn't that fabulous? And it look, it's already starting to look, and we're gonna talk about what we did here. And we're gonna talk about these different marks, okay? But in the bottom, let's focus on the bottom dart right now. Okay, so how are we gonna manipulate that? So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking that bottom piece and I'm matching it up to the princess seam again, and I'm gonna pin. Okay, and if you notice in me in draping, I haven't over pinned on the body form. I've literally taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins on this drape, on the body form. So the, it's not actually doing. So now I pre-cut this. So typically you're gonna get a lot of strain up here in the neck. So we do what we call, we'll cut and release or I do what they call it, cut and off, which is kind of like, oh man, you relax the muslin. And then I just kind of would clip that away and keep, clip it away. And if we look, I'm relaxing the muslin and it's actually releasing the tension on the muslin as I am cutting. And it gives it a really nice uh, release. And actually we've completed that front drape. Now what I've done and I'd never encourage anybody to use a black marker, but I'm doing this for the purpose so you can see really well. But I take a black marker and I'm marking the bottom and we start at the bottom of the, of the waist, okay? From there, I mark the bust point, okay? Then we go up to the top of the neck, I mark the top of the neck, okay? And then I'll go to the top of the shoulder at the top of the shoulder, at the base of the neck. And then what we're doing here, I don't know if you can see this, but we're gonna certainly mark the dart and we're gonna make the dart pieces, we're gonna make the dart pieces kiss. So we know that this side and this side of the dart, they actually kiss, okay? So we've got that marked. The base of the arm, bet the sleeve cap, Follow the arm all the way down. I'm following the red draping tape again. At the base of the arm, the bottom, at the side seam, I'm marking it. And I'll mark that for you. So we've done that. Take it all the way to the bottom. We're gonna mark it here. And we're gonna do the last piece, and that is, again, kissing the dart on the bottom. Okay, kiss the dart. So we got that, okay. And basically we've completed the front bodice of the drape on the form. Now for the back, we do kind of the same thing, but we start all over again. So again, we take the 18 by 24 piece of muslin. Okay, 18 by 24. We'll turn this around, turn this around. We'll lock this in place so we can, don't have it move on us, okay? Take the muslin, scoot that to the side, scoot that to the side. And basically what we're gonna do is take the salvage side of the muslin, center seam, take it up to the top of the neck, okay? And we're gonna start pinning again. We'll start pinning again, putting a few pins in. Okay, we'll flip it around a little bit. Take it over to the side. Move this up and over. Okay, and basically we'll just take this, pin it. And we're gonna pin it here. Done that. And basically we're gonna take this muslin and we are going to drape this with a dart make the darts kiss again, and I'm following the princess seams as we did before. 
okay? And we're gonna do the top of the shoulder, the top of the shoulder, okay? And just take a pin right through the top of the shoulder there, and we will pin, okay? We start all over again, we start all over again with the, with the marker, and we go to inter every intersection, the base of the waist, the top of the neck, the base of the neck, we print, kiss the print, the dart seams, the princess seams on both sides, the arm cap, plumb line, which goes all the way around, the base of the waistline at the side seam, and the dart. And then we are basically have completed the actual drape of the muslin. And I'll remove this quickly. We'll get this off and I will show you what we have. And basically, we have basically completed the drape on the form. So one more pin. And basically, we end up with a bodice like so. Okay, and this is from the front and the back. So with that, there you have draping a front and back bodice on a body form. So next time we are gonna be taking the drape bodice and we are gonna make it into a pattern for